My name is Carl Hess. I'm 29 years old. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, and I currently live in Dallas, Texas. I'm a professional portrait artist, as well as a teacher of art to inner city kids. Yo, first thing guys, y'all thinking about men, you are thinking about simply going from dark to light, right? Uh, I saw a lot of y'all, y'all were using a lot of oil, a lot of the turpentine, excuse me. And if you're using the turpentine, it's cool for a first layer, just like in watercolor. You know what, my elementary school teacher, um, she was the first person that saw something in me as an individual, uh, individual artist. She was the first something that, that pulled out, um, I guess, the artistic ability inside of me. Um, so around sixth grade, she reached out to my mom and told her I see something unique in this student. And at that moment, she, um, Asked my mother if she could send me to the College of Art, Memphis College of Art, on a scholarship for a summer program. And that was my first real taste of what it meant to be an artist. By the time I um, got to high school, I had recognized my gift. And honestly, I could recognize that people around me understood that I had something different. So at that time, I had already developed in my mind that I was gonna be a businessman, uh, following my mother's footstep as a business owner at the time. But my business was, was solely with the use of my talent, portrait painting. Uh, during high school, my art teacher, she was a big supporter of myself as far as being able to sell my work and um, as far as being able to form this professionalism as a portrait artist. So at that moment, that's where I really started to venture out as a 10th grader and kind of see, I guess, kind of using my, my ability to actually create a, a source of income even at a young age, so reaching out to local pastors and of course friends and families investing in me as well, that was a great opportunity for me to, to really start to develop the business side. So what's happening? Well, going in right now to meet with the college football playoff and pitching an ideal to make an annual piece of artwork where they can kind of have this one, uh, you know, heirloom eventually where yearly they're creating um, fine art, right? Yearly, the, the one person, that one fan, man, they're collecting fine art every year. So I'm going to pitch the ideal, man. We're praying to God that it's going to work out in my favor. We'll see how it works, man. How'd it go? Man, you know what? Um, it, it went amazing, man. I, I would say I feel like I feel like something big is gonna jump off. I feel like something big is about to happen right now. Yeah. Good, man. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> when I was in college, um, I had a professor. Now, this professor, uh, at the time, he seemed very fond of me and um, him and I felt as if, in my, in my own opinion, had a good relationship. Um, however, in the classroom, this professor would often, often point me out kind of in a negative way, um, making a mockery 
in some ways of, of my accomplishment. Um, and that accomplishment was my first time meeting President Obama. I was blessed enough to meet President Obama and actually present one of my paintings to him. Receiving a lot of recognition in the small town that I was in Knoxville, Tennessee. You know, my, my face was on the front cover of, of the city as well as my school newspaper. So fast forwarding to my graduate years, um, as I applied to SMU, University of Dallas, other colleges, um, I wasn't accepted. And that same professor that I had in college for my painting class, I actually asked him to write a recommendation letter for me. Not understanding that his sarcasm was surrounded by negative connotations. By not getting into the programs, it, it really tore me down. But to later find out, that same professor wrote a negative negative letter uh, stating that they would not recommend me he would not recommend me to be accepted into a program i was arrogant considered myself as a quote-unquote portrait artist and did not in his mind see myself going on further than just a portrait artist but however i will tell you you know what god has given you in your mind and what you see other people may not see I feel like that's exactly what happened with that same professor. Um, I held on to that memory and I used it for ammunition. I used his negative words, I used his negative thoughts to honestly prevail beyond what I was achieving for in the first place. So in essence, that negative professor, he, he blessed me, right? He pushed me harder. Without even knowing, he gave me more ammunition to be even greater. Around in 2012, I received a letter from the White House. And that letter from the White House is stated, you will officially be reviewed by the President of the United States for the official portrait for President and First Lady Barack Obama. For me, I was able to recognize my gift and I stuck to my gift. So you have a gift, uh, whether if your gift is speaking and um, uh, communicating with people or um, um, braiding hair or um, simply selling an item, right? You have a gift, it's, it's guaranteed. Everyone has a gift, it's recognizing a gift, sticking with your gift. They've supported us, we've supported them, and we've all supported the community, and we just want to show our love to all members. But we also wanted to share something very special, uh, a special gift with Pastor and wife. And I'm going to have Mr. Carl Hest come up and present. So it's an honor right now that I give you to present this hand-painted oil portrait um, to the pastor and the first lady. If you guys would give me a hand and stand and just bless them with so much love. I've tried other things. I've um, sought out their other activities, other um, ventures as well. But the one thing that I've always stuck with and felt confident about was portrait painting. So, being persistent, not giving up, understanding that this is the gift that God gave me, understanding that nothing will come overnight. That is amazing. God really kind of set, set my feet. just have excellence in everything that I did. So just realizing again, at a young age, realizing what God had for me. So I build confidence in myself and I thank God for giving me the ideal and I boldly go on a quest. Um, and honestly, quite often, 
more than often um, I'm denied. Right? It's, that's something that a lot of people don't see. But I mean, honestly, it only takes one person to say yes for the right opportunity to come along. <laughs>